Welcome to another edition of Canyons News. I'm Mickey Santos, and here's your latest from your Canyons Newsroom. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. As fire starts blazing around the county, the LA Fire Department has a few tips on how to stay safe as we head into summer. Here's Katherine Gonzalez. Fire season has begun in the Santa Clarita Valley this year. Chase Mochum at Fire Station 126 explains how it's been so far. So far it started off busy already, uh, early season fires. We've got a couple in Santa Clarita Valley and up in the high desert. Um, the Delta Fire being up in the high desert area and the North Fire being here in Castaic. In case you've ever wondered, this is what a typical schedule looks like for a firefighter. We work 24 hour shifts, we show up at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're here until the next day uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning. So it's basically a, a large house built around a garage. Here's our apparatus beside me. Uh, at any part of the day, we're available for calls, uh, 911 calls. That doesn't matter 7 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning, we're here to serve the public. And in regards to fire safety, what can the people do to stay safe? Number one is going to be ready, set, go. So we want you to be prepared before the fires actually occur. Uh, with um, going with brush clearance, anything like that going around the house. So 38 or 30 feet to 100 feet, we want that clear. So that way when we show up on the fires, we actually have a uh, fighting chance to save the buildings. Um, before that, we also have a uh, ready, so that'd be the ready portion. Now the set portion would also be um, preparing you and the families. So that way we have an evacuation plan in um, basically in planning beforehand. In addition to that, uh, we want you to uh, pack up any kind of valuables, any um, memorabilia that you want to have and have escape routes and ready to leave at any time. For Canyons News, I'm Katherine Gonzalez. As the pandemic begins to show signs of slowing and people are excited to resume back to their busy lives, we look to the experts at the Castaic Animal Care Center on some tricks on how to ease our four-legged family members back into a pre-pandemic routine. Here is Holly Lausick. The pandemic's been challenging for everyone. The LA County Animal Care Center shifted their operations to appointment only, virtual training, and curbside services to benefit the animals and the safety of the staff and volunteers. In 2019, over 60,000 animals were taken in by the seven animal care centers. However, with the new managed intake, the number was less than half of that for 2020. We are all easing back into a new normal, but into a more fast-paced routine. Start to train your dog or your cat or other animal to spend time alone. You know, leave a couple hours for the day and leave them with a nice treat. Start taking them for more walks. Maybe look into doggy daycare. Uh, but what we see is that pets are really part of the family and people want to keep them. So we try to help them to do that. After 20 years of working at the Castic Animal Care Center, Fred shares there's something special about the impact of animals in our lives. That's the highlight of all our employees is seeing an animal go to a forever home uh, and knowing that it has a bright future ahead of it. The animals at our care center are much less stressed. They're healthier, and our staff and volunteers are able to spend time with each individual animal and really get to know them. In helping people, whether they're working at home or teaching their children at home, pets are part of the family. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Holly Losick. With being the voice of the Santa Clarita community, the days at the KHTS news and radio station are never dull. Reporter Cheryl Akpenny gives us more details. Welcome to KHTS Radio, your local hometown station. Check us out at 98.1 FM and AM 1220. As the prime voice of the Santa Clarita Valley, KHTS, known as the home station, has been bringing residents of the community news, music, and more with the help of its staff. 
So the big thing with Hometown Station is that is our angle. We are local news. So we really try to focus on this isn't just the Santa Clarita Valley. This is our Santa Clarita Valley. This is our community. Everybody who works here lives here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Spending so much time in a room trying to make sure all corners of news itself is covered and covered correctly. In the morning, we'll take a look at our emails and we get hundreds of emails every evening. We sift through those and look for stuff that we want to cover in the Santa Clarita Valley. Our days normally start out with what happened last night? What happened in the world of crime and as it happens in the Santa Clarita Valley? But to one news director, not knowing what's going to happen on the other side of the door is completely everything. When I come into the office in the morning, I don't know what the day is going to hold. Right now it's about 1.30, 1.45 in the afternoon. I still have two and a half more hours of my day, and I don't know what the next hour could hold. The next hour we, we could have a 7.0 earthquake, or we could have a massive fire erupt, and you never will know what the next day is going to hold or the rest of your day. So that to me is the highlight, coming into work, not knowing what I have to do. Although every day is unpredictable, you can always count on KHTS to deliver to their community. For Kenyans News, I'm reporter Shara Penny. Despite the limitations on school sports due to COVID-19, Heart Swim has had the opportunity to carry out their season. Here's Isabel Mendez with more. After months of a pandemic and quarantining students from school and activities, Swim came back for the spring 2021 season. They haven't been in school school in the traditional setting since last March. So we're excited that we were able to do it safely and we were able to give them something on this, this year that they missed out on last year. Hart Swim coaches Chris and Jordan Stroh felt excited for the opportunity to complete the season despite the adjustments. Normally <laughs> we would have about 65 kids in the water at one time. Uh, when we first got here, the city said you could only have 20. 20 people in. So we had to say, we had to manage people differently. In addition to focusing on regaining their endurance, the Heart Swim team had to abide by the strict COVID protocols. So they take their masks off at the blocks, they swim their race, and then they re-grab their mask when the race is over, hold their mask in the air, and then swim to the other side, and then they get out of the pool. Nevertheless, Senior swimmers are grateful for the chance to complete their high school swim careers when just months ago they thought they would lose their last two years in the pool. I would have felt like a little like uncompleted my high school year if I didn't do this my last year because like it's like uh, something I love to do and if I didn't have this it'd be kind of like a boring high school experience for me. So Every member of Heart Swim has appreciated the time to swim and be with their team through these demanding times. It feels great to just like be in the water and be with the team and the team just like a second family and it's just these moments we cherish with all our seniors also, it's just we're lucky to even get a season. By remaining determined during modified training, the Strohs feel that this has been a productive and enjoyable spring season. I think it's been a smash hit with all of the things that have come up this year and all the protocols and everything. I think. Uh, not only our team, but other teams have handled really, really well and been able to get the most out of their kids. With the season coming to a close, the team is grateful for the season they had, despite its unique pandemic adjustments. Go! 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 For Canyons News, this has been Isabel Mendez reporting. For more insight and news affecting the Santa Clarita Valley, make sure to follow us at Canyons News on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Once again, for Canyons News, I'm Mickey Santos.